open educational resources. Mm -hmm. Definition is resources that reside in the public domain or have been released under an intellectual property license that permits their free use or repurposing. Mm -hmm. Um, the resources can include full courses, course materials, modules, textbooks, streaming videos, tests, mm -hmm. software, and any other tools, materials, or techniques used mm -hmm. to support access to knowledge. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all well and good. <laughs> it sounds great. Uh, the ability to make educational materials available to students mm -hmm. free or at, no co uh, or at little cost. Mm -hmm. But who provides these mm -hmm. resources and where do they come from? Mm -hmm. The open educational resources come from a variety of places. There are actually textbooks, full textbooks online that you can download or that your students can download. I'm actually using one of those for one of my introductory classes. They're peer reviewed, they're excellent. They, I've seen that they range from things like sociology, psychology, chemistry, microbiology, so those are great. There's also things like wiki books that are available online or you can use portions of different books and textbooks and with, with the fair copyright use laws. There's also digital textbooks that are available that the library can get. I actually worked with our librarians to get one of the textbooks for my classes and we have it in our library. It's digital so the students can check that out. They can actually download it for free and use that for the class. Um, so there's all kinds of places. I've just been surfing on the web recently. I'm doing a, a new class next semester and I've been finding a lot of resources and chapters that are all open, free sources in my field for, for my use and for student uses. And our librarians are great resources, so asking them, they can also help with that. I'm guessing that bringing in resources this way affects what goes on in the classroom. What changes did you have to make in your teaching? How has it changed the way you teach? I didn't really need to make too many changes in my teaching. Basically the changes are the same kind of changes we do anytime we either have a new course, do a new prep, or you're going to use a new textbook. So those changes were very familiar to me. It's just a matter of updating exams, uh, updating assignments, updating PowerPoints to make it so that it matches the resources. But other than that, there wasn't a, a big difference. It sounds like you're comfortable using open resources in your courses. How has the use of OER affected student engagement? The open educational resources have been interesting. On the one hand, the students are extremely grateful. And so they kind of love you right away when they don't have to spend that money on a textbook. So they're very appreciative. And, and it's kind of nice because it sets the tone at the start of the semester where the students feel like you do really care about them. You're on their side. It also is really helpful because now the students have no excuses. The, the book is there. It's available. From the, or the resources are there available from the very moment the class starts. And so they, um, they don't have to go to the library. They don't have to wait for their financial aid to come in. Um, they, can, they have access to it immediately. Sometimes I've waited as long as three or four weeks for a book to come in or for the students to be able to get their books. And by then, we're well into the semester. I've also noticed that the students are more likely to actually cite the course materials. Sometimes you'll find them answering questions, but you can tell they've gotten that information off of the web and that they aren't using the textbook or the course materials. So now they actually do use it, and I'm finding a lot more compliance with that. And they're doing better because they're getting the, the answers and the information that I think is important for the class and, and using that in their assignments. And knowing that they can't get away with I don't have the book or anything makes them more accountable, do you think? Absolutely, it makes them more accountable. I, I like to believe that my students are always telling me the truth, so, um, so, so I, 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 yeah, I like to believe they're always telling me the truth, that they're not lying to me saying that they didn't have the money or they couldn't buy it, but right, they are accountable. There, there are no excuses. The information is there, and um, they all have access to it. Yeah. Great. And in the end, the reason why any of us try anything new mm -hmm try new strategies, whatever. Have you seen any improvements in student success using OER in your classroom? Well, I've definitely seen improvements. Like I mentioned before, the students have access to the materials. 
They're able to answer the questions that I ask them. They're able to do the assignments. They're able to study uh, for the exams or study for the, uh, write their papers. Whatever I'm asking them to do, they're able to do that. And they're also, they're also again, they're, they're very grateful. They're much more engaged because they know that I care about them and they know that the information is right there. And so they're able to do their work better and in a timely manner. So yeah, I, I would say yes, I think I have seen improvements because of that. Jane, thanks for sharing your experience with us. Oh, you're welcome.